Howdy there, Coastbuster fans. Today we're going to show you how to install a pop-up cleat. I'll show you in a second. This is a pop-up cleat. See? It hides away when it's not in use. Into a 2017 Yamaha Wave Runner. This is a an HO, a high output. The problem being where it's supposed to go on the side here, like the gunnel, you can't access from inside under the seat. There's a there's nothing, the, the body mold just covers everything. So what you gotta do is this this is a hollow channel. You go all the way to the back of the ski. And you look in here, you can't see it on the camera, but if I reach my hand all the way down in there, you can feel the void where the end of the channel is. So what I did was get a piece of number 12 building wire, and I shoved it in there, and it went all the way to the back. And from there, I tied a string on, and I'm going to pull the string out right now. Okay, there's the string. And what has to happen is, there's a plate. There's this plate that has to go in the back, and it goes all the way up through the channel, and it comes up underneath, and sits right here, from underneath. And then this, the cleat gets screwed into that. So to do that, I'm gonna put the string right in the center here, pull it from the back, and pull it up tight to where it's gotta go after I drill all the rest of the holes, and then it gets riveted in. That's the only way you can get to this spot from inside the ski. We'll see, show you when it's done. This has to, happens to be the Yamaha Genuine Wave Runner Pull-Up Cleat Installation Instructions. It's the MV, uh, MWV PUCLE-AT-07. Okay? The instructions don't tell you how to access the hole. They just show you how it's all supposed to be mounted. So this is to an addendum to this particular instruction sheet, okay? Okay, so all the holes are drilled now. I pulled the masking tape off and I ran that blue wire through to the back and pulled the string back through. Okay, and what I did was I tied this bracket to the string, put a knot at the end so it couldn't fall through, and just in case it gets stuck, I have enough string off the back that I could pull the thing back out. I can go back and forth with it if I had to but it seems pretty open in there but this is the first time I've done it you never know all right so now we're gonna pull through get the plate to where it's right supposed to be and it gets riveted in you get two rivets one here and one here that holds the plate to the underside all right okay all right the only thing you have to do before you tie the string on I forgot to do it but I'm gonna do it now Undid the string, and this gasket gets glued right onto there. It's got a self-back, you know, glue backing. You put that on there, so it keeps the underside watertight. All right, and then you pull the bracket through. All right, now I pulled it almost all the way through, and as you can see, there is the bracket. And all it has to do is center up with these holes. And pretty much there it is. See one, two, three threaded holes. And there's the holes that the cleat bars go through. So now I stick two rivets in here while I'm holding this up. So I'll tie it off to the handlebar. And just rivet it. That'll hold the bottom piece in place. I need everything else just get screwed in from the top. Got it? Good. Okay, there we have the pop-up cleat. All finished. Three screws, holes down. And for another Coastbuster adventure, and that was an adventure, just remember, we ain't afraid of no coast. We'll stop on any beach and drink your beer. Goodbye.